man coming to us up north. Let's give it up for Bob Kirk. All right, I'm going to have to get off for a second, and then I'll come back. All right. Look Let's give it that. up for Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's been a minute since I've been here. That, it's great to be back. I, I recently had eye surgery. So, um, you know, on this eye, you all look great. This eye, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm still working on my HR uh, stuff, and I'm, I'm, I'm at letter F. So uh, I'll take you through some of that, letter F, uh, uh, which comes up first is fondle. <laughs> it's okay to fondle the products, except, uh, uh, but you might expect swift dismissal. Yeah, except for fruit and vegetables, they're fair game. <laughs> so the produce manager uh, told me. Uh, so I put the melons in alphabetical order. Nice melons. I said, oh, how do you tell when a melon is ripe? <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just asking. <laughs> do you knock on it or thump it? Uh, I've been trying to tap it for a long, long time. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what's wrong. I should stop trying to tap the melons. Oh, Another one is fumble. Fumble with documents and risk losing your job. They were all in alphabetical order until my major dyslexia took over <laughs> and they sorted and filed them by 52 card pickup. I asked for help. I said, hey, dyslexia, can you help me organize the documents? Sure, sure. I meant Alexia, sorry, not this. Like, that's what my computer said anyway. <laughs> it's a better luck next time. Um, you can fumble the pitch to a new client and, and you may find yourself on the sidelines looking in at your underlings success in your old job. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, you can feel the fabric uh, and check it for quality, but only on the mannequins, not on the real people. <laughs> unless, unless you're a tailor, then the mannequins and people are fair game. Uh, mm. Flicker, <laughs> flicker the candle to extinguish the flame. Sorry, English is not my first language. <laughs> <laughs> flicker the candle to <laughs> extinguish the flame. No more birthday parties. Oh, yeah. Celebration at work. Yeah, they won't let you celebrate. They told me, you're too old. You're going to set off the smoke detectors and sprinkler system again. So no more. I cannot celebrate at work. <laughs> parties are offline. <laughs> no more parties in the office. <laughs> but you can eat cake. Oh, fluff. Fluff the pillows and make them more comfortable. Besides, what is your bed doing in the office? My boss said, I said well, I work 24-7 for you. Besides, you don't pay me enough that I can afford an apartment. Even in Canada, <laughs> prices are <laughs> way up. <laughs> and that's Canadian dollars, not US. Wow. Uh, it says, fan the cards out before shuffling, because every company allows poker in the lunchroom, right? <laughs> well, maybe only in Vegas. Yeah. Flap the papers and straighten them out as much as you flap your gums where you we'd all be in trouble. <laughs> Phil, <laughs> flit your fingers across the keyboards to type because uh, we don't allow any more flitting of any kind. It's a flitless Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not even Friday yet. Uh, flutter, I can't flutter my eyelashes anymore. It's a flirt. <laughs> Doesn't work for me. They, 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 they just think I have an eye problem, which I do. Stigmatism, major. Uh, strangely, Fred and Frida are attracted to me. Yeah. <laughs> They're the office pets. <laughs> pet. They're the pet fish. Angel fish. Oh. <laughs> Fold the papers carefully and make a neat crease, especially on a slow work day, so you can Make paper airplanes to see which of your ideas will fly with your boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
flick the paintbrush to uh, create a splatter effect. The splatter effect is when you go to HR and spill your guts, and the only thing that splatters there is my blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is sweet because I'm diabetic, so <laughs> they don't matter. Yeah. Oh, flex the muscles and relieve tension, but maybe wait until you get to the gym because it's not appropriate in common areas <laughs> at work in the office. So, <laughs> oh, woo, woo. and they're playing me off, and that's all I got. <laughs> Let's give it up for Bob Kirk, y'all. Thanks, Good everybody. All right, y'all, we're going to keep the party rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. In the boiler room, we got Noah. Before that, we got the comedy dame. But first, ladies and gentlemen, he's packed and he's ready to bring the comedy. Let's give it up for our traveling comic, 